Good day, ladies and gents. I'm your host, Bugo Zed, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to answer the question Is the new Streamlabs OBS plugin good, or is it just another bus from the company? Let's go have a look at it. Before we go, <laughs> I think I will cut a lot in this video. Before we go into it, I just want to say that the link to the plugin is down below um, in, in the description box. So you can download it and follow along with the video. I'm trying something new. So this is the first time that I do this. And if it works, I'm probably going to keep, keep doing it. We are at the moment live on and Twitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the video while I'm live. So if you do want to catch the longer version, you can find it for a limited time on Twitch and Kick for a live stream from Sunday to Thursday, 7 p.m. UTC. Don't forget to check me out there and follow so I can keep delivering this great content. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below on what do you think about this plugin? Now, let's go straight into it. This is the main web page of the plugin. You just go on and download the plugin. We'll download. You open the file. Windows will prompt you to confirm that you want the app to make changes to your system. Okay, so this is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close OBS and we're going to open it again. We have reopened OBS. There you go. And magically, you have some new docs. That one will be the recent events and another one will be chat. And you get prompt with this window. Log in and get started. So you'll be redirected to the website where you can sign up with other email password, log in with your Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or um, Kick, Twitter, not Kick, <laughs> or Trovo, TikTok, whatever platform you want to go with. I'm going to log in with Twitch. And now there you go. Add an overlay. This is just to add an overlay out of the box. If you see the circle, white, green, and yellow, it means that it is part of the ultra package. Uh, so it is not free. So let's see, for example, we do, well, we only have red glitch. Let's skip it for now because they do have a couple of free options for overlays. So let's skip it. You want to put in your PayPal email address. I'm not going to put it in. I don't want to show, <laughs> um, but that's to connect your PayPal to Streamlabs. So when you receive a donation, an alert can pop up on stream if you set up your alerts. So we got skip for now. We have the two windows, one beside the other, so you can see what is going on. Now, let's say we want to add an event list. We go into settings to change things, and it will pop you back into the main website, gives a bit of an introduction, and it gives you a bit of an idea of um, how the alerts can look. And you can decide to add a different look to the alerts, and you can toggle on and off which events do you want to trigger in the events list. And then you can change your background color, text color, the font, you can flip it, or you can use custom HTML, CSS, and JS code to make your own graph. So we just do a save setting. We just leave it as it is. And then we go back to our two windows. If you want to add to the stream, click on Add, and it will auto-populate on OBS. You don't have to do anything else. It auto populates on the stream. It will add the browser source to your OBS. 
and then you just have to move it around, resize it, whatever you want to do with it, and then then lock it out, and there you go. Next time that you have an event popping through, it will come up. Same thing with the alert box. We can go into settings, and we will load again the website. So you can, it shows you how to add the alerts. We don't really need it because we just, on, on the website, we're just going to change the look of the overlays come up. So for example, you can have an alert delay. Uh, you can have a different background color, or if you want the text below or the text on top of the overlay or on the side of the overlay. Uh, and that goes with all of them. So from general settings to follow to subscription, you can edit it as much as you want. Then once you're done, you save the settings. You can even close the web page. Let's start closing web page. So close the web page, and then once we're done, we add the alert box, and it pop automatically pop up on OBS. And same thing as before, we can uh, change the size, change the the location of the alerts. Once you're done, you lock it down, and you're golden. Same thing for your chat box, and then you have other widgets. Explore them yourself because everyone has got a different theme for their live stream. So some of them can be useful to you and some of them, they won't be useful to you. For example, like a follow a goal, sub goal, spin the wheel, poll, game widget. There is a lot. The only thing to remember on this page is once you edited the settings, are you happy with the settings? Click on Add, and it will add it to OBS. All right, guys, as you can see, new T-shirt means new day. Uh, it's going to be frustrated last night with uh, with the Streamlabs plugin, um, and I want to say that it was uh, my fault um, because I didn't reboot my PC once I've installed it. I didn't think it needed a reboot, so I didn't reboot it. Um, so what it happened was uh, it was just not loading the pages. Um, so I got frustrated and I uh, stopped <laughs> record, stopped streaming, stopped recording. But we're going to finish it up today. So if you look on the bottom left side, you can see test events. So let's say, for example, we got Twitch connected at the time. So we're just going to go follow. There you go. And you have both the events populating and your alerts so let's say we want to test it out a subscription there you go so it's gonna put the alert will pop up and you will populate as well automatically your events it's literally a one-click solution then we go overlies if you see the white green and yellow circle it means that they are behind paywall or for better choice of word, you need to be subscribed to the Ultra subscription. But if you click on the filter, you can go free, and it will show you all the free overlays that they offer you. There are quite a few. If you want to be even more specific, you can choose between animatic and static. Okay, so let's go have a look at animated. There are a couple. So for example, let's say they got one for kick. They don't even support kick with their <laughs> with the multi stream. We'll see in a minute, but they do have an overlay for kick. Let's say we pick. What do we pick? The overlays. Those overlays. They're actually ugly. <laughs> Sorry to say that, but at least you know for gamers. They are very, 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 very ugly. Uh, let's say this one, Jasper Game Day is not the best. But if you just click on Install Overlay, it's going to close your OBS, download the overlay, and it will open it up again with the overlay installed. One-click solution. Do you need this, honestly? 
I mean, yeah, if 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 you are a, a brand new streamer, there you go. So we'll create a completely new scene collection. As you can see, create just by game day charity theme. And then it will auto populate all the scenes, all the sources. As you can see, you got your starting soon screen. You got your bureau right back, and then you can pick and choose which sources you want and which sources, for example, you want to delete. So, for example, want to delete the alert box, we delete the alert box. As you can see, it says OBS for start required. To ensure that fonts and other added features load correctly, please restart your OBS. We recommend restarting this time. Okay, let's restart it. It's going to restart both of them, both the Streamlabs plugin and OBS. There you go. As you can see, it has restarted both. If you see that it's taking a while, just exit out and then go back on your top bar. You will see Streamlabs. You click on it and it opens up again. Hopefully, that's not a bug. Hopefully, that's not a bug. Unless, so for some reason, the Streamlabs plugin doesn't load. So as you can see, guys, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes not. And let's go now with my personal opinion about the plugin. My personal experience with this plugin has been very negative on the way that it just doesn't work. Look at it. Um, the tab are refreshing. The main view is not, it's not loading at all. It loaded before, then something happened, I'm not sure, and it became white. You, you saw it, guys. Um, I tried multiple times to restart OBS, and the plugin and nothing and honestly nothing i want you to look at me <laughs> when i say it and i'm gonna say it again stay away from stream labs um i am the person who got caught up in the mix twice in four years yes i paid two years of ultra subscription ultra prime whatever they call it uh, subscription both times i went back to them and say hey look uh, i i don't think i'm gonna last a year i know i paid for a year um but i don't think i'll last a year i would like to cancel the subscription they said to me the cooling period is seven days and now the subscription is yours for a year. We can't fund you. So I know this is free. I know this plugin is free. And maybe I'm just the unlucky one that didn't work out for me. But the first thing that I'm going to do is uninstall it. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of the plugin? If you tried it, if you haven't tried it. I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscription, um, if you learned anything at all in this video. Don't forget that I stream Sunday through to Thursday, 7 p.m. UTC. So if you want to see the extended version of my YouTube videos from now on, pop in the stream, say hi. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this video next or this video next. I keep forgetting. Until next week, Buru Mates.